Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. My name is Milo, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. After the previous episode, I let the date speed run up to 1872, and then I paused it. I continued to run the game just to really let our line settle in and start making a profit. We have two new vehicles. Under trains, we got the General. It has a top speed of 28 miles an hour, a power of 177, and then a tractive effort of 8992, which is a really big upgrade from our Baldwin six wheels. I've already upgraded the train and I'm running 16 oil cars on it, which it is running at poor. I know I said I didn't like that in the previous episode, but our track is flat enough that it's losing almost no speed. Right about here it drops to 20 miles an hour, but it's just not, not that big of a difference and it's dropping off a million dollars a turn, so it's been very profitable for us. I also upgraded all of our road vehicles as far as the cargo to the American Covered Horse Drawn Carriage which has a top speed of 12 miles an hour and a capacity of 5. Now, because of that increase of speed in the cargo, and the uh, we haven't unlocked a new passenger vehicle yet, which is running at 11 miles an hour, we have a little bit of issue with our cargo vehicles backing up over here. As you can see right now, these buses are running way too slow for these, ve these cargo vehicles, and it's causing a traffic jam. So what we're going to do is get rid of that line, sort of, for now. We're going to take out the Elmstream stop in New York, and we're going to send that over to Houston instead. This will run those buses this way, away from our cargo vehicles, and then whenever we do unlock the next bus, we can go ahead and connect New York and Kansas City back up, and we'll have a nice little loop there. So let's go ahead and rename this. It's now going to be Houston to Kansas City. Now, what we're going to take a look at today is our first shipping lines. New York is continuing to grow, so demand for two new products keeps coming up here, tools and machines, and then it keeps dropping back down. So that will eventually pop up and stay there. So we're going to take a look at this wood camp down here, or rather Overland Park Forest. We're going to ship the logs all the way to the other side to the New York City sawmill. We're going to send the planks all the way back and then down here to the Overland Park Tools Factory. We're going to start right here. We're going to go into our uh, shipping, Cargo Harbor. We're going to throw in a large. We don't have large cargo ships right now, but rather than upgrade later, I'm just going to put it. Good. And we'll come down here to New York City. Both of those are connected. We're going to need a shipyard. set up our so there should be an overland park port down to new york city port so as for ship we port to new york city port that delay so let's go and take a look at our ships So we have the Ridgey, it runs at 16 miles an hour, has a capacity of 70 with two compartments, meaning that it can take two different materials on one trip. The Wilhelm has 14 miles an hour, 70 as well, but can't take everything. And then the Zoe Roaster is only for the fuel. So we're gonna go with the Riggy to start. We're just gonna grab one of those, throw it on there, and we should immediately start producing wood, which we are quite quickly as well. That's probably gonna be it gets there which is nice now we're gonna have to get down here right now we're just gonna do that with one cargo vehicle just to get the line established i'm gonna put a bridge on this side because i don't think we're gonna have any ships passing this point this with the
Straight up this way so you can bypass the city altogether. And avoid traffic. Thirty meters. We're only gonna need one, I think, right here for now. We'll upgrade later when we start sending them out. Here we're as well. Yeah, and just put it right there. Here. Station. Uh, we need a road connect station here. So there we go. Change that. We'll use the gray color for tools. T O P. Port. OP tools. And then we'll just go ahead and throw one vehicle on there for now. Okay, so our first ship is getting close to halfway there. I believe it should be full, it is. And we got tons of logs here, so we're going to go ahead and start adding more ships one at a time. So I want them to get uh, get pretty nice and spaced out, so I'm not going to just buy a whole bunch of ships and shove them up. Now, I think what we're going to do with these tools is we're going to ship them up to here, and we're going to train them out to New Orleans and then up to New York City and we're going to run a passenger line along with it so I think we'll come out of New York down to Murrieta over to New Orleans and then down to uh, Nashville or possibly Overland Park so let's get a bus line going between Overland Park and Nashville while we're waiting for our ships to build up, I'm already there. He's going to be running. So, yeah, we're going to be able to add a bunch more ships. Get a butt here. It's over in Nashville. Connect those two. Blue Keller. OP to Nashville. It's going to run right along our cargo vehicles. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is this line we had running for cargo to Nashville was way too long and we were paying way too much maintenance and we were just losing money there. So I, uh, I added this cut through road here, which is much quicker. I think what I want to do is try to connect this road. So the buses can branch off there. Gonna bridge it. That's just ugly. Try 
destroy that there. I guess we can just leave that alone for now. So yeah, now our buses should be branching off there, getting away from our cargo vehicles, going down to... Let's go ahead and grab a few of those. Four of them up. Get in Nashville. We still got tons of logs. Yep. And we're getting pretty close to our first drop off. A really long trip. The line's costing us 200,000 right now. We got tons of people waiting to go to Houston here. They want to travel that way real bad. Let's make sure they get there. I think we're going to start from Nashville. We're going to put our passenger station in Nashville, our first one. We're going to come up to New Orleans, over to Murrieta, and then up to New York. We might be able to stop that, start that today, depending on how much these ships make. Go ahead and get one where he drops off. million pretty happy with that wait till it starts bringing planks back as well this is going to be really profitable running steady everything's running quite well right now our buses are backing up our guys a little bit there. Go ahead and turn that date speed back on. Hopefully we get that soon. Starting to fill up with planks. We got 34 there. It cost two logs to make one plank so we'll only be running half full on the way back we could do something like hook up this one and truck it in but we'll wait until we actually start selling the tools for that and Antonio needs tools too we need to figure out a way to get them up there
Nashville and where we might want to put the um passenger terminal. I think we'll probably go over here. Maybe something like that. I don't know. We need more money where we can. Lots of people waiting in Nashville here. Well, it's going pretty well so far. Again, we are profitable. Take a look at our lines. Our shipping lane is already the most profitable at 653,000, and we've only dropped off one load. Six hundred logs. We could still add quite a few more ships to this line. So it should make, I guess, another half a million on the way back, right? I guess. Come up and we'll double track this line. Over here, we're going to add a track on this side. Because eventually, I want to add another train to this oil line anyway. Bring that down there for now. Then over here, we're going to add a second track as well. That looks okay. Okay, so that's going to be our first passenger station in Nashville. We'll get another bus loop going around. So we can bus all these people in the station. It's probably going to increase the amount of people that want to travel from Overland Park as well. New York City is bulls. 
And again, I think I want to train those tools up to New York City because I don't want our ships taking up log space to bring more tools. Ships are profiting easily over. Houston to Kansas City is losing money, but it's also running full, so that might even appear pretty soon. So our next station is going to be in New Orleans. We have to come off of these tracks here, right? I think maybe put crew station in right here. Future. We're going to have to demolish all kinds of buildings, and we just don't have for that. I guess we could try this side. And we have and borrow a few million more. Okay, that's all right, I guess. Then to get to Murrieta, we're gonna have to this way over to the coast. Looks all right. Okay, then we're going to need some buses running around New Orleans. Get those people up to the train depot. To do two loops. One in each direction. So for line one... The bus, New Orleans, loop, and other way, New Orleans, 
too. Oh, and look at that, we got our new stagecoach. Put those on each line. And we can go ahead and upgrade our vehicles. Go under manage vehicles. Let's go up and look at our buses. We're gonna upgrade the vehicles on these three lines. And that's gonna cost us four hundred and thirteen thousand. Upgrade all of it. So that should clear up our congestion problem here just fine. And we can go ahead and add another uh lining up there from New York to Kansas City here in a minute. What I want to do right now is get our first passenger lane up. Bus down here first, though. Gonna do loops here as well. So this is gonna be Nashville loop one. And then Nashville loop two. Okay, and then we need a little bit more money where we can buy a train. So well, actually, while we're on camera, we'll just go ahead and take out the rest of our loan. So add a new line. This blue. This is going to be rail. Nashville, NYC, press. Even though it doesn't go to New York, but that's where it's going. About. Now we're going to need some signals. Let's do that first. signals not patience I know. And then we want some here, some here. This guy, he's going to...
I think I'm gonna have to take that all the way down. It didn't now. So let's go ahead and pause it. We're gonna add some track to here. Sure we can get this in here on this curve. Have to do to put that in just so when it comes out it can go down this right hand side. both of our Let's see because I want this uh passenger line to stay to the right here and just keep going switch him oh because there's only one platform Let's go ahead and add one of those on this side. I can two. Two. Yeah, and then see our passenger line will stay to the right, pass right through, and then. Put a few more block signals in. Should be a okay. so let's grab a general let's take a look at the passengers we have 31 miles an hour we can only go 28 14 capacity 16 capacity 50 miles an hour but 747 in running costs versus 400,000 so we're just going to take three of these guys for now and then we're going to set them on City Express line. Our bridge is kind of running over our tracks there. Okay, so I guess that's going to be episode two. Thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you could, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys again in episode three.